Good morning and welcome to day 20 of our advent calendar, which also means it's the 20th of December. How? Anyway, we'll ignore that for now. It does mean we are starting a brand new stamp set today. So it's our final stamp collection of our advent calendar. So should we find out what's in behind door number 20? And there it is, door number 20, right down here in the bottom. And it got a bit destroyed, so let's <laughs> let's just make a mess of my box. Here we go. We have got, if I hold it up, I don't know if you can quite see it. We have got a little teeny tiny flower. How cute is that? Hmm, what are we going to make though? Let's find out. So for today's card, I've decided we are going to do a little 66. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of brush eye. So I've got my good old faithful gamboge. And you knew it was going to be that one. And I'm just going to do a little... Oh, It was meant to be a little, but it's gone a bit more. So more is more on this one, I'm guessing. So I'm just adding more water to it so that what I can do now... If you notice, it went really intense, which was wonderful, but not what I wanted right then. Yeah, I wanted more of a muted background. So I've put more water down so we can grab a piece of tissue and knock the colour back. So this will take a lot of that intensity away. See? And now it's almost how I wanted it. I could spritz it again. I'm not going to either. Pop that on there. Before I have my flower, I want a little bit of texture. So I'm going to grab my gamboge again. Pop a little bit on my desk. I'm going to do a little bit of stamping with him. I just want that little bit of texture in the background so again I'm going to walk it out so I don't get big lumps of colour let's just do one Ooh. two three I think yeah I'm going for less is more on this one let's dry off my stamp And then I also need to get this dry again because I do want to stamp on top of it. Right, so my background's looking okay ish at the moment. Um, so I'm going to stamp my flower on now. And I think I'm going to do two on here and then one to cut out. I'm just going to ink this one up. I'm going to do one down here somewhere. And then I'm going to stamp one onto this piece that I'll need cutting out. And then of course, because I've used my Versafine Claire, I'm just going to give it a quick dry with my heat gun. That's all lovely and dry now. I've picked up my Alzarian Crimson, or Alzarian, however you say it, Alzarian. Close enough. And I'm going to colour it in. I'm just going to get cutting this one out. So I'm going to leave a little border. I think it helps it just pop. I know I'm always using that word, but by leaving it, that little border, it, it gives you a frame, doesn't it, around. So it makes it stand out when you've done a busy background like that. That's why we might layer things, isn't it, as well? You know, because we want them to stand out against the background we've created. Oops. I have something sticky on my scissors. And all the way down. There we go. Put them in the bin. So, you can see, we've now got I don't know if I want it down there or further up, I might do it further up. A bit like that maybe. We've now got three floating flowers, so we need to draw some stalks, don't we? I'm just going to grab my gel pen and just sort out that little bit of um, 
had to damp in from before. And I'm just going to go down. Nothing more, nothing less. And then a second one on it. And the same with this one. And then I've got to decide where I want to put this one. I think by himself, just like that. I'm going to draw the stalk on here and then down. There we go. And then they're still floating out, so let's just ground these little ones. Because that's what we want. And I might even do a bit of a squiggle, a bit of a squiggle on them too. Right. Quite happy with that. I know I sounded surprised and didn't mean to sound that surprised. So I'm going to do, let's celebrate you on there. From our Kitty Cat collection, that one. Just add some black ink. I'm going to do it straight onto here because I think it's, it's going to look lovely. Let's get this thing to it properly. here right at the bottom so let's celebrate you just like that so all we need to do now is get this put together so I've got a six inch card that we're going to stick this onto I'm going to foam tape it so I just need to dry that a little bit off otherwise inky pinkies everywhere because at the moment I'm not doing too bad for inky pinkies some foam tape on here because I want, I want it raised up. I'm not going to put a layer behind it but I do want it raised up. A couple of bits of foam tape. I'll put one in the middle as well because my card's got a bit of a bend on so I'll put one in the middle. The one. I was going to be clever and do it all in one then. Nah, didn't work. Nearly. Oops. Come on, me dear. There we go. And then let's get this stuck on. So it's got actually got quite a big border around the edge of it. Because I couldn't decide if we were going to have a mat behind it but I don't think it needs it so we're going to pop that on there like that we're going to grab our little flower head it's only a tiddler isn't it and then we can get him struck on there we go pop that back up there so I can see where it is and we're just going to pop that back on there where we said we wanted it and then it is, I wasn't going to, but, oh, that's not my white gel pen. Oops. I do, I want a little bit of, oh, yes, it is my white gel pen. I thought it was a glazed one, it's not, it's my white one. I wasn't going to, but, you know, it's like the rules, isn't it? Not that there's any rules when it comes to crafting, but... I've done it, but I've managed to make one of these sparkle. There must have been some um, sprinkler or something on my desk. So, there you go. So, there you go, our day 20 make. Here it is. How cool is that? Really pretty, isn't it? So, that was day 20. What will be behind door number 21? I nearly said 22 then. What will be behind door number 21? You'll have to come back tomorrow to find out. <laughs>